Hey everyone, Summer here with the Story of Sun, and I wanted to do a first look with you of the Minds I Tarot by Olivia Rose. US Games sent me this deck for review, and I will be reviewing on their website, not on my channel, but I did want to show you the box. It's gorgeous. I love this artwork. It's a it's a very fey feeling deck to me already, and I knew that the minute I saw it. All right, so the book is really thick, it looks like. Like, really thick. Oh, we got some colored pages in here. Seven of Cups, all right, meaning fantasy, wishful thinking, daydreams, options, and choices. Okay. So it doesn't look like it's, like, a bunch of description. I feel like this is probably going to be very RWS clony with some really pretty artwork. Look at that. Yep. I'm excited to go through this deck. Okay, let's see. Um... There's a note from Olivia in here, and then it jumps into Major Arcana. So what does it have in the back? Does it have any spreads or anything? Looks like just stuff about the artist. Oh, yep. Okay, there is a spread. Hindsight, insight, foresight. Okay. Cool. And that's about it. All right, so it's just cards, one little spread, and a little bit about the author. That's pretty cool. But it's a pretty thick book, and it feels sturdy, looks sturdy. It's got pretty good binding on it. Okay. Cards. Back to cards. Oh, look at the back of these. They're interesting. Ooh, gold gilding. Gold gilding. Let's see. Does it feel like sharp gilding? Not really. It feels it feels okay as gilding goes. I'm not very good with the whole which gilding's which. <laughs> I don't own a lot of decks with gilding on it. All right. Let's go ahead and take some first looks. Move it over here. Ooh, it's very slippery, so... That's interesting. <laughs> okay, the fool. Oh, I do like the line art a lot. So this kind of line art is really interesting to me. I've seen this artist on Etsy. She has an actual fairy, an actual fairy deck on there too. Maybe that's why I automatically assumed this was fey. And it does look fey to me. Even without wings, it definitely looks fey to me. And maybe it's something to do with their eyes. The magician. That's gorgeous. And yes, I do. I think this is a, it's a RWS clone for sure. High Priestess. That's a very interesting High Priestess. Look at that eye. Wow. Wow. And then we have the Empress. I love the coloring in the art. Like the way all the colors go. Jeez. Sorry, my desk actually leans to the left, <laughs> which is why it does this. Hierophant, she's pretty. I think I'll only stop on the cards that like really, really get my attention. Like this one, look at that. Chariot, how interesting. I love her face. Okay, I love the faces. I do. I very much love the faces. <gasps> the harmony. I love that hermit. Look at her. She's like cocooned in her own stuff. And I love that. That's cool. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I like it. It's very saturated, like darker colors. I don't think that the deck will read darker. Like it doesn't feel like it has dark energy necessarily as far as that goes. But it does look darker. But I think it's pleasant pleasing it still fits my style like I gen genuinely have a lot of really light decks but I don't think this is going to be outside of that norm for me I'm really excited to start using it the devil wow there's a lot of red in this deck <laughs> red isn't exactly like my favorite color the tower now that's an interesting tower like she's coming up out of it so that's something that's, you know, explore based. Maybe do some exploration. Let's see. I think I'm just going to pick these up and then let them fall. <laughs> oh, the star is so pretty. I love the star. The moon too. Oh my gosh. Look at that moon. That's the cover on the, that's the box cover. I love it. <gasps> and the sun. Okay. Now this is one of my favorite suns ever already because it's not a little kid and I don't, yeah, I definitely don't like the sun as a little kid. Judgment. Wow. Look at her. <laughs> the world she's fabulous all right so now we're getting into minor ace of wands 
All right, I can get on board with that. Ooh, these ones have wings. Look at this. So maybe moth wings. I think that might be. Yes, look at all the wings, guys. I like all the wings. <laughs> Four of Wands. That's so special. Look at that. Look at that. Four of Wands. Okay, sorry. Five of Wands. Six. Okay. I don't know that it's very pippish. It doesn't seem very pippish to me. It seems like kind of normal RWS style deck. I like this one. Okay, so far I really like this one. That one definitely looks very, very. Look at her wings are all bound too. Isn't that interesting? Is she sitting on a mushroom with an eyeball? That's great. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Yes, this is very Faye to me. It's totally going in my Faye deck realms for sure. And the Ace of Cups. Look at that eye. Jeesh. Two. I like that. They're all holding little spiral shells. This doesn't feel mermaidy necessarily to me. Just very water-based, which is cups, of course. Six of Cups is a cute card. Look at that. I do. I love the artwork. I think it's fantabulous. That is so pretty. Look at that nine. Wow. Okay, so they stick a little bit. I hadn't gone through this deck yet. Ten of Cups. Oh, I like that. Isn't it weird, though, how her eyes seem like they're kind of closed and his eyes are covered? Oh, how interesting. Page of Cups. Knights. Ooh, another stick card. There we go. Queen of Cups. King. And he's covered again. I didn't realize. I wonder if the other king was covered. I don't know. I'll have to look at this next one. There's the eye again. In the ace. That's an interesting two. These ones don't seem to have wings. That's okay. It's still a very fey deck to me. Four of swords. Did I miss a card? No, okay, that's three of swords. Five. Six. There's the eye there. Wow. Yeah, this very this definitely feels like otherworldly to me and puts it firmly in that fey realm for me. She's holding her head in this one. That's cool. Instead of just lying down. Look at that ten of swords. Holy cow. That's rough. Page, knight, queen. Oh, yep, the king's eyes are covered in this too. Interesting. Ace of pentacles, but I don't see an eye in this one. Interesting. Okay. Two, three. It's interesting to see how their eyes are too, like the closed or openness of them. Like her eyes are closed and hers are partially open. Hmm. I don't think they'll say anything about the eyes in the in the book because the book seems to have very limited like it's it's definitely RWS and there that that expectation of RWS knowing is there. So page. Oh, I like that page. That's an interesting knight. The queen of this one's looking right at you. Oh, wait. Okay. His eyes are not covered in pentacles. That's interesting. Now I want to know if the cup's eyes were, king's eyes were closed. I'm going to go look really quick. I want to look really quick. Let's see. Temperance, wands. Oh yeah, wands. Wands and cups. I, or no, it'd be wands is the one I didn't look at. Nines. Okay, there's page and knight. Queen is, this queen's also looking at, right at you too. Yep. Look at that. His eyes covered too, so the only one that is not covered, his eyes are not covered, is in the pentacles. I wonder if the book will say anything about that. Should we look? Maybe we should look. Pentacles, that's swords. Pentacles, let's see what the king of pentacles says. Because, yeah, he's definitely not eyes covered. The king of pentacles sits on his throne with a strong sense of confidence and security. Fully aware of his wealth and influence. So maybe it's that fully awareness that's there. Maybe that's why. Hmm. 
Cool. I like it. I like this deck. I can't wait to start using it. What do you think of it? Uh, I might do a like full on like just cards walkthrough later of this deck or I might not. If you really want one, I will. But you guys have pretty much seen all the cards at this point. Um, should we shuffle them just to see how they shuffle? I have really tiny hands, but let's see. <gasps> Look at this, guys. I got tiny hands and this will definitely, they will shuffle with tiny hands. I like that. Let's see. Pretty good with the riffle shuffle. Well, maybe not of pulling up like this. They're stiffer cards. So that's interesting. And I like it actually. They don't feel like they're stiffer, but they're stiffer in the sense of trying to shuffle them. Most decks that I use that any riffle shuffling are not that stiff, but they're very easy. They don't stick or nothing. They don't have a gloss on them, which I love, but they're not like a rose petal finish either. What it would be like linen finish. I'm not sure what kind of finish it would be. All right. So there you have it. That is the Mind's Eye Tarot, which is either coming soon or just released. I will put a link in my description for it so you can go get it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a very great day.